y'all there. And I'd like to present to you our Governor General Justice. Just think about this. LPM Middle School. Just think about it. Having your superintendent of schools with you, having your great principal, all the great stuff that you do all across. Just think about what is the probability of LPU Middle School, what's the probability of you winning $50,000? $50,000 for this school. I mean, it's unbelievable when you really think about it. You know, we started this whole campaign along the way. Now, Superintendent Burge came to me with the idea that I got vaccinated, or I got bags and everything, and then created a competition. A competition with all the different schools all across the state. 77 schools in our state you know, entered this competition. Are you just think about it? That's unbelievable. And just think, you, you were the winners as far as the highest percentage of kids vaccinated at this school than anywhere. So I congratulate you in every way. Now there's all kinds of stuff that this will open the doors to be able for you to be able to do. And they just gave me this, just a couple of notes. Just think about this. We will use some funds for field trips, end of school, end of the year activities for students and to fund activities that we would like to play for our students throughout the year. Dancing, celebrations, reward ceremonies, activities, events, college and career exploration. All kinds of wonderful stuff. Now listen, I can tell by how attentive you are. I can tell just how good you really are. You see, I'm in and out of a lot of schools, and I really do that with great, great joy. I told the ladies with me in the car just a second ago, I said, you know, I love going to the schools. I really do. There's a lot of days in this job that they aren't really all that fun. They're rewarding from the standpoint of good stuff that you feel like you're doing for West Virginia and all the good stuff that West Virginia is doing right now. But at the end of the day, I'm at my best, I'm at my happiest when I'm in school. And I'm that because I mean it when I tell you that I'm really excited about your life. I'm excited about West Virginia. I'm excited about the opportunities that we now have. But more than anything, I run on your energy. And you may find that hard to believe, but really and truly, your hope and your smiles and your encouragement throughout life, that's what makes me go. Because I mean it when I tell you I love you. And I mean it when I tell you I'm really proud of you. What you have accomplished thus far is just a fraction of where you're going. But you're going to greatness. You really are. You know, the world is just awakening to the fact of how great West Virginians really are. You have the right values. You absolutely know the difference between right and wrong. And your craftsmen, your parents, your granddads, your grandmas, they're craftsmen. They're good people. They're faith-based people. They're good people. Now, you have an incredible a bunch of great teachers here that are helping you every day. You have an incredible bunch of service personnel, whether they be cooks or the custodians or whatever, that help you every day. And all these great administrators the same thing. I congratulate you from the very bottom of my heart. And absolutely, I want to tell you just this. You may say, why did we pick baby dog? 
Why do we pick her? Well, think about this. You know how she got her name? My, our grandson was two years old. He's just a little baby. Just a little thing. We got baby dog as a puppy at Christmas. My son and daughter gave her to us. And when we saw her, it was like, oh my gosh, yeah, this rascal will grow into what she is right now. A 60-pound brown watermelon. But, <laughs> but nevertheless, that little two-year-old baby was walking around the house saying, because he could barely talk, and he was saying, where'd that baby dog go? Well, so we named her baby dog. But she absolutely makes everybody smile. And she loves everybody. And all of us have, have had a tough enough time with this pandemic, have we not? It's been really hard. You look, you're sitting in masks, and it's been really hard. And we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Your eligibility now goes down to from age five to 11. So if a bunch of you fall in that category, talk to your parents. Your parents should guide you in everything you do. But with all that, you've got so much life and so much opportunity in front of you. I can't do anything else but congratulate you. Baby dog, congratulate you too. So God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.